All right, everybody. We are here in the renovated room. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just give you a tour of it now. We have this thing right here, which is just drawers. Got some boxes here. We need to throw these away. My plan is to get, like, a shelf, like, two rows, and, um, it could be a little taller than desk, mainly to display, like, mantle clocks in case, like, I get more mantle clocks, because as you can see, I don't have any more room for some, but yeah, um, now the reason why I have pegboards on the walls because I don't want to make new holes in the wall every time I get a new clock and uh, you know have to rearrange and stuff so yeah that's why I have pegboards I don't know if people really like this idea or not but unfortunately it's gonna have to be this because you know you don't want to make new holes in the wall every time you rearrange and stuff right anyways yeah so yeah I I'm going to show you around more. We got some more stuff here in the closet. And in case you're wondering why there's so many clocks down there, it's because I haven't gotten any... I haven't figured out how I'm going to hang them from above. And these are the clocks that usually go above. Or some of them don't... Some of them actually won't, like, go on the pegboard. Some of them, like, don't have, like, the right type of thing in the back to have them go on the back of a pegboard. Or not the... Not the... Um the hooks won't fit into them. Yeah, anyways, um, hopefully I'll find something out to fix that. And, yeah, I've got lighter clocks up here, so, yeah. Windowsill is still full of clocks, so this is the one thing that, like, you know, people will recognize, like, I had a majority of these up when, uh, you know, back in my old room, the windowsill is, you know, I'm hoping to, like, get, like, it, like, extended out a little bit so I can fit, like, more on here. But I actually like this a lot. Right here we have a new dresser, and we got some clocks on it. Um... Three of them you might recognize from the old room. Two of them, actually, no, I've shown, I've shown this one and that one before, as well. Actually, well, those two and this one were in my old room. This one and that one were both over the su were both purchased over the summer. So yeah, that's why um, they haven't been in my old room, but now nah, now they're in this room, which is pretty cool. Got another wall, mostly quartz, because I don't know if I can fit anything mechanical back there. Probably here, but nowhere else. And I've also got a digital clock above, and a alarm clock without hands, and then that one. And here we have some mechanical clocks. Over on this wall. Oh, yeah, and we have this one right here. This is not currently plugged in. I need to wait till, like, a day where, like, I'm here at noon to plug this in because this only works if it's plugged in at noon. I mean, oh, it'll work. It'll work, but it won't be at the right time because you can't... I don't know how to set this. Oh, and here's the grandmother clock, which I think it looks really nice. Yeah. And then we have clocks on the top of the sh blue shelf, or the, 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 the shelf on the blue desk, or yeah, whatever. All the anniversary clocks are in the same spots as before, and we got all these ones now. Yeah, well, these I've had before, but this is where I'm going to put them. I need to see if there's something I can put here. I don't know. We have a CD player, another clock that I'll need to plug in. At 12, you need a phone app to set this on, but I think the phone that, uh, I don't think I have the phone that had the app to set this, and I don't know if I can get that app to sync with this clock on my new phone. Yeah.
But anyways, uh, here we have the Coca-Cola clock. It's plugged in right now. I I really think the light is light still works on it. Of course, not currently running. Some of these clocks actually aren't currently running. The battery, the quartz ones, because I'm kind of out of batteries right now. But don't worry, I'll get some more, and then they'll probably be running. Even though like they're not really what like people come to my channel for and stuff, but still. More mechanical ones that we can't fit on the other wall. Here we have just a couple random ones. Then there's this lamp, and then there's this thing right here. There's some hooks in there for the pegboard. And then just these two. And then we got some more back here. Oh yeah, and then also there's those behind the door. I forgot to point those out earlier. Those aren't on pegboards because that would definitely get in the way of the door from fully opening. We got a few of these up here. And here we have the shelf. We got a few of them down there. And some more over here. Yeah. Um... Overall, I like it. I like the color of this room. I really like uh, what I did to this room, and or what we, or I don't know, what was done to this room. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm just revealing what the room is going to look like uh, November and onwards. Well, actually, for it, it was August and onwards, but you're going to start seeing it, like, more frequently, like... You can actually start seeing this like in every video starting in November. So how many new clocks have I gotten? Um, so I've got a few new clocks up there and some more on the windowsill and even some down like in this area here. But um, the ones that I think you guys would be most interested in. This one. This one. This one. And then this one and that one too, actually. Uh, this one, uh, actually, you've already seen this one and that one. This one I got last month at a flea market for. Well, I also for, I also forgot to mention that I also bought this one too. I got this at a flea market for um, twenty five bucks. It's a Westminster chime mantel clock made by Linden. Yep. Uh, same company that made that one over there. But overall, this one is actually, like, not, like, this one actually, I like this one better because it's not, like, ruined in any way. This one over here is actually kind of messed up a bit. The, the key is really ugly. Yeah, other than that, this one's nice. But yeah, this one is also, like, this one's nicer. Right here we have the uh, Seth Thomas. Uh, yeah. Got a pendulum down there. Now, y you only can access the pendulum in the back. This thing down here doesn't open. But, oh yeah, and also it has this weird thing where, like, it won't really close fully it does a bim bam chime every half hour and hour and stuff it's a really nice clock uh, here Ingraham banjo clock the glass is broken by the way you've actually seen this one too yeah I'm, I'm, I'm showing the ones that you've seen the pendulum will move however the spring is broken and uh once I learn how to replace a clock spring, I'll replace the spring on this one, and, uh, well, it'll work again, so yeah, that's good. Now for, uh, what you have not yet seen, this clock right here, this is a Smith's Enfield, um, mantel clock, I got it from eBay for 50 bucks, I showed it to some 
some of my friends in the clock community and they all really liked it. Like they told me that I should get it because it's like really cute and stuff and uh, well I I got it and also it's really because I wanted a Smith Sandfield and finally got one. Doesn't have glass though but that's okay that's not really a big problem. I got quite a few clocks without glass. It works. It's actually running 20 minutes ahead of the actual time right now. But that's actually because apparently this one does not have a real Smith Enfield pendulum. It has a different pendulum, which is why it's running so fast, even when it's at the lowest level. But hopefully someday I'll get a Smith Enfield pendulum, and uh, maybe once I get that and like I have it. Maybe it will go, like, regular speed. Yeah. Anyway, I was hoping to do that someday, so... There's another task that, uh... I gotta complete in the... Collection. Now, this one... Looks very similar to that one. Both of them are new. And, yeah. I got them both at the same time. Same seller... Like, they were selling them, like, as a pack of two. And I got both of them. But actually, no, that's, I actually got these for my birthday. Yeah, so, I saw them online, showed them to my family, and asked if I could get them for my birthday. Well, obviously, they didn't tell me if they did, but apparently they did, and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, an unboxing video will be coming out of th these two. And then this one as well. Um, this one will be coming tomorrow, actually. And uh, in November, I'll do videos of the three of them. As well as... Um, a, uh, I don't know, maybe... I don't know, I, I don't think I've done many videos of this one, or that one yet. Or actually, even this one. This one needs another video. Uh, Hershey Mental Clock. I hope I get that in right. Yeah, I feel like these three don't have enough videos on the channel. I mean, I did just get them. Like, this year. Anyways, um... Yeah. Overall, I'd say the collection is doing really well. And, uh, it's really nice to actually show you guys it. The grandmother clock needs a pendulum still, but I got one in mind that I'm gonna get. I'll, I'm gonna save up for it. Yeah, so, yeah. And also, in a couple of months, I'm probably gonna get, uh, Hopefully, I'm planning to go to an antique store in a couple months. If I get a wall clock, hopefully I can get it right here. And if I get a mantle clock, hopefully by then I'll have a shelf in this space right here. If not, I could probably just display it on here, or if it's too big, I'll probably move a couple of them, other ones on here. Here, Here's the linen chime in. Yep. So yeah, I hope you like the uh, new room. I really like it, and uh, it's gonna improve over time. Hopefully, at some point, we can get uh, clocks hung up on the top, and then yeah, it'll be more like a clock museum. I mean, it is kind of a clock museum at this point, but. We don't have anything at the top yet. That's where all the like regular ones just go. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I do have a clock collection update that is going to be released on November twelfth of this year. Um, I'm probably gonna f I'm gonna film it in November. Um. 
because by then I'll probably have stuff set up a bit more. But yeah, it's coming out on the 12th of November. And yeah, I think that, um, yeah, that's, that's the plan because currently as of now, I got videos of my old room planned until November 4th. So the weekend after that will be the weekend where I finally start like making these videos again, but like in my room. Yeah, um, also I'm probably going to decorate this for Christmas soon. Um, as I traditionally do, um, got to figure out a Christmas light plan. Still got the same lights from last year, and I hope they all work. If so, then those are probably the lights I'll end up using. But yeah, um... Alright, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tour of my new room. I really like this new room, I hope you guys like it too. And yeah, so if you have anything to ask, uh, just don't be afraid, just leave a comment if you want to ask something. And yeah, if you want to request a video, there's also a request form in the description. As well as my Discord server as well. You can join that if you want to. Um, for like more exclusive stuff. But yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And I um, guess I'll be seeing you guys next time. So yeah. Bye.